Ben Oliver, you are here today to be sentenced for the unlawful killing of your 74-year-old grandfather. We couldn't see the defendant, the lawyers, or the rest of the courtroom. Only the judge was in shot as she passed sentence on Ben Oliver for the manslaughter of his grandfather. A year ago today, cameras were allowed to film in Crown Courts in England and Wales for the first time. Judge, wonderful to meet you. Very good to see you. Thank you very much. I want to take a seat. Something the Lord Chief Justice has been pushing for for years. I think it's been a, a complete success. Um, we see in many news reports um, short extracts from sentencing remarks which contain the heart of what has happened. It's also helped to show people that judges are not as portrayed in TV dramas or on films, um, sitting there in long wigs, most of them foaming at the mouth and in their 80s, um, but are a, a broad cross-section of society. Once you get inside these doors, it's illegal to film or take pictures of anything. But in the past year, broadcasters have been allowed on more than 30 occasions to share live the sentencing remarks of judges in certain high-profile cases. And now Parliament is consulting on whether to expand filming in courts even further. Well, I think the, the obvious next step is to broadcast an increasing number of sentencing remarks in cases in which the public have a genuine interest. Other countries like the US see trials broadcast nearly in full, becoming like soap operas and going viral. I do worry that um, some of the broadcasting that we've seen around the world has simply turned into daytime TV entertainment, and that I don't think is in the interest of justice. Whatever happens next, Parliament and the courts have a difficult balancing act between preserving the process of justice, but also making sure that our courts are open and transparent for everyone. Rachel Venables, Sky News.